Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope everybody is safe at home. I had already posted one video on how the Google Classroom can be used for teaching. Today I'm sure with a new video where uh, how students can use Google Classroom effectively for their learning. We know uh, pretty well that now our teaching and learning has been shifted online and as such teachers are mainly using Google Classroom for interactive classes. Students should also be aware of how to use Google Classroom effectively and for example how to use Google Classroom for submitting assignments online test and how can you interact with your teacher or share your doubts through Google Classroom and access the material uploaded by your teacher. So watch this video till the end so that you will get an idea about the use of Google Classroom. Let's see how to join a Google Classroom. See once your teacher sends a link you'll get a notification in your mail like this. See class invitation to join this class. Once you scroll down, you can find here. Yeah, here is a, a, an icon to join. Click on that icon. Yes. Now uh, you have been joined to the class. Right here, you can see that uh, from the beginning itself, they give some notifications. For example, this is an area used for communicating. Let's first see the title of the class is here, and uh, uh, this is one, a dummy classroom I created. That's why I gave the name like this or uh, your concerned class teacher will create a uh, grade 9 or 10 accordingly and here you can find three options here stream classwork and people and let's know each one of them uh, the first one is stream and this stream option is used for uh, communication between the students and the teacher and here you can see share something with your class see already your teacher has shared something with you that means the teacher has already I posted a new assignment that is a class test is here and another one is for notebook submission another one is for workbook completion again teacher has communicated uh, uploaded one resource for your studies dear students please find a chance the video for your lesson so in the same way suppose if you want to uh, thank the teacher you can say that uh, thank you and you can add your message here right so this is how the communication takes place between the uh, students and the teacher this is for mainly for communication and the teacher uh, post some resource materials and uh, whatever communication you can send the messages but uh, remember once you send all the messages that will be open to everyone everybody can see your messages in this stream the next one is classwork see and this is actually the classwork and this area we can view the classwork assigned for you by your teacher or by your teachers that means uh, multiple teachers can be added to one class so that you can find all these uh, assignments uh, for you will be uh, visible this category so you can see this workbook completion and this one was uh, posted on april 18 date is given here and complete the workbook right so uh, complete the workbook and uh, another file is attached for that and that you can find the attachment and uh, another see another one you can find here for class test one another link is created here and see uh, the teacher has already said uh, see dear students please find the attached google form for questions submit your answers on the space provider after each question so once you click on this see and for example you can find the class test one and questions uh, questions are given here there are questions given here and uh, the student can answer here and once you complete the answering you can submit here so that the teacher will get uh, your answer sheet okay so that is how the uh, exam is taking place okay so that is how the uh, exam is taking place so here and uh, another one let's see the notebook submission uh, this is another uh, link created by the teacher and here also you can read that dear students please attach the snapshot of your notebook here with regards to teach teacher so teacher has also created the rubrics of evaluation the how the notebook needs to be evaluated and here organization and uh, organize your notebook and a so teacher has already added this point there should be an index page title of the lesson concept map what all things are required for organization for it carries two points or two marks then correctness two points neatness again two points here 
and uh, vocabulary two points and on time submission or in time submission we have uh, two points so total 10 points so this is a rubrics your teacher has created now suppose if you want to submit or upload your assignments you know that actually here all the notification will be appearing on this side upcoming and once you click on this you can find that which are the up, uh, what can say upcoming uh, notification for that particular student see class test is one notebook submission is here and workbook completion at the particular area or the slot given see the class test already we have seen how to create the class test or suppose if you want to upload some materials and for this class test and you can use this area suppose if you are uh, what you can say uploading uh, your answer you can just click on this add or create and uh, you want to upload uh, suppose uh, it, it can be from a google drive it can be you can upload a link or a file for saved in your computer or uh, docs or slides or sheets or whatever materials you can so suppose if you have a file saved in your computer see select so if this is my exam paper i'm just applying uh, my exam paper here now once it is done what i have to do is i have to turn in right then i'll, I'll turn in right see uh, once i turned in uh, the teacher gets it uh, for evaluation so once a teacher does any if you have any comments about this you can just add in this private comments area. And after the evaluation, teacher will uh, send you back and you can access it here and you can view the marks here once the teacher completes it. And you can check whether you have uploaded it correctly and you can see whether you have uploaded the document correctly or not after your correction. Okay, so this is how uh, we upload documents for or assignments uh, for evaluation. And here, here we have a notebook submission you can find here the notebook submission once you click on this right see here i have told you already in the same procedure you can follow with the notebook correction see notebook submission once you click in and make sure that you go to once if you want to access it you should be able to take it from the stream option in the classwork option it is not that possible to access it sometimes see here you can view only but uh, only in the stream you can upload the things so make sure that you go to the stream option and uh, there you can find the messages and you can find the rubrics created by the teacher and then your work can be uploaded here and as i have showed as i have showed you already in the same way uh, you can uh, do it here so your work add or create can be and in the file you go to the file and upload in google classroom so this is how we use google classroom for learning so this very easy platform for students to upload their material so you can find everything all together so whatever assignments are given by the teachers and whatever materials the teacher has uploaded for the studies and you can download the videos or pdf or any other files that the teacher has uploaded maybe an excel sheet or maybe a word document or any other even it can be at the link of a website so everything can be accessible here through the stream option and this classwork option is for assigning you a uh, work and especially like some assignments or any other work or class test or the teacher teachers can contact the clusters also through these options so once you click on that and you can see what the questions or whatever things are uploaded and you can just respond accordingly this category is actually for the teachers right you can find who are all the teachers added here right so this is how the google classroom works for students i think you like the video if you like the video just uh, subscribe to my channel and and share it for Apple. So if you have any doubts in uploading the content in Google Classroom and please leave me a comment so that I think I can help you. Thanks for watching.